So welcome to Mac Tinkers, where it's just me tinkering. Now I do not like to spend money, so I cut my own hair. And these are some of the best clippers that I've ever had, but I dropped them. So rather than buy a new set, I bought replacement blades. And they're pretty easy to install, as I have dropped it once before, so I will show you how I do it. All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver and the replacement blades. And you just unscrew the old ones here. It's also a good time to clean out any hair that's in there. Now I'm going to open the new one and put it on. So now the position of this determines how close of a cut you will have. And that looks to be a pretty close cut, pretty, pretty close to like shaving. So. I'm just going to start there. You can always adjust it later, but it looks all right. So I'm just going to make sure these are tight. And this ball goes into this, this slot here. So that ball, that slot. Line up the holes so that you can see where to put the screws. Hold one side down with your thumb. And you should be able to get the screw started. Don't tighten that first one all the way down. Just get it close. Close enough to hold it in. Make sure everything looks good. Or you tighten it all the way down. There you go. Now this is the only thing I use to shave both my face and my hair. Actually, that is a little crooked. That is a little crooked. I'll move it over a little bit. But yeah, this is the only thing I use to shave both my face and my hair. And I have never gotten a razor bump. Now barbers do a great job, but I just don't care that much about my hair. So I just cut it all off when it gets long enough to do anything. Now I did make some adjustments after the fact to make sure that the two blades were parallel to each other, but that's all there is to it. <laughs> 